an overview of Enritzu's IQ Sigma Master software suite, a complete set of applications running on a standard Windows PC to help you capture, import, and organize your IQ data files, play back IQ files with fine time resolution and spectrogram displays, and analyze IQ data sets to measure common modulation standards and view 5G frame data. IQ Sigma Master is a complete solution helping you maximize your investment in Android 2 Spectrum Analyzers. IQ Sigma Master supports all of Android 2's latest products, including the Field Master and Field Master Pro, and Android 2's remote spectrum monitors. Whether you are dealing with a few milliseconds or a few hours of IQ data, IQ Sigma Master lets you visualize, explore, and analyze the signals you are interested in. IQ Sigma Master, the key that unlocks your data and the full utility of your Android 2 Spectrum Analyzer. Handling large files with IQ Signal Master. IQ Signal Master allows for the capture of very large data sets, up to a few terabytes if enough space is available. Dealing with these large data sets can be difficult. IQ Signal Master provides means to quickly identify regions of interest while maintaining full resolution for playback and analysis. Uh, welcome to our continuing series of videos introducing Enrisu's uh, IQ Signal Master software. Today we want to look at, at dealing with very large uh, data files. Uh, just briefly, uh, our capture, we have the ability to do uh, large large captures. A lot, of, a lot of times if you're looking at, to demodulate you know, and analyze the, a signal, you might want to capture a couple of frames, which is uh, 50 or a, a few hundred milliseconds, and, and those files are, are pretty small and easy to deal with. But we provide a uh, means to just do a continuous capture. For, for an extended period of time. It could be um, many hours if, if that was the desire. So you're, say you're looking for a signal and, and it just doesn't come on very often and so you just want to want to just set this up and make sure you capture it. You could run for a long time. We also provide uh, in our sh uh, a kit that, that includes a PCIe interface board which will uh, connect to our uh, Signal Master Pro and, and with, with that PCIe interface you can actually do 100 megahertz uh, bandwidth capture at, at full 32-bit resolution, uh, which which turns out it's about a gigabyte per second of data, right? And so if you were to do that for, uh, let's say, 15 minutes, you'd have a terabyte of data, which is which is a lot of data, right? You if you tried to open that in in any sort of software, um, it just it's going to bog down the machine. It could take days to open and. and <laughs> many months if you were to just play that back and and so it's impossible using normal means to try and look for a signal there so so we provide this uh, large file mode so i'm going to i'm going to browse i have uh, some big files i've created i want to look at this file this is a 68 gigabyte file it took 13 and a half hours roughly to to capture this. i did i just did an overnight capture i found a signal on my spectrum analyzer that i noticed sort of came and went and i thought oh it'd be fun to to just kind of on with it. Uh, it's a fairly narrow band signal, so 2.67 kilohertz was the capture bandwidth. Um, and like I said, I did a 13-hour capture, and, and it's 68 megabytes. Now, if I try and open that, it's going to say this file is, is too large. Anything over a gigabyte, it cannot be opened at full uh, resolution. So we're going to use this large. So I'm going to say OK, and it will automatically open in this large file mode. So, like I say, this would have taken three hours normally, um, but in this large file mode, it's it's much quicker. And, and the reason is uh, we do sort of pre-process before we can look at it. We have to open the file and, and try and pull out minimax power values and RMS values and 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 generate a power versus time chart uh, so that so that the file is useful. And to do that at full resolution, we look at every IQ pair. It just takes a long, long time in a eighty or 70 gigabyte. Um, so in this case, we have a time resolution setting. So instead of looking at every IQ pair, it looked at, at just every 10 seconds, it pulled out a value. And so then I, I can see my, my power versus time, but my resolution is very poor. So it, it automatically found peaks. There's This red line is sort of a threshold. And every time the power went above there, it says, oh, there's a peak. And, and then when the power dropped below, it said that peak is off. And so it finds this automatically. But since my resolution is 10 seconds, all of these peaks lasted a multiple of, of, of 10 seconds, which I don't think in this case was true as I had looked at that signal. In fact, one of them, this one here, is, is I can see is kind of wide. 
I scroll down here, I can see that one was it was two and a half minutes where that signal was on. And, and then and here there's a section for four minutes where it wasn't on, but it, maybe it was. And, and I just I don't have the resolution here, so I can adjust this down. So you just need to find an appropriate place. If I put this at let's say regenerate this graph, then it's gonna it's gonna take a little bit longer because it's doing a more fine grained look. And now I can see that that uh, right instead of seeing 10, 20, and 30 second peaks. These are there's more in a few seconds, but that's my resolution. So I, I'll go down some more. So let's try 50 milliseconds. Um, now it's going to take longer. So it took three seconds last time. This is the processing time. It'll, it'll probably take about twice that because because it doubles the I halved the time resolution. Now I can look again, and these signals are still typically two and three seconds. So, I, so I'm probably, my resolution is good now, right? As, as I go down to 50 milliseconds, I didn't, I didn't see shorter features. And so, so that's, this one's only 50. So, so maybe that one was shorter, but for the most part, um, I am finding a lot of these signals are still two, three and up to, to 10 and 11 uh, seconds long. So that, so that's good. It's, I, I found a good time resolution that loads this pretty quickly and I can see what's there. Now, when, when this was at 10 seconds, it found like 100 and, I can't remember, 150 peaks or something uh, because it would some of them were, were very long and were multiple. It was finding multiple peaks and calling them a single one. But now it's found 532. Um, and this list has a maximum. If I click down here in the noise, um, then, right, it, it, it doesn't know what a peak is in, in there. And so 999 is the maximum count that it'll do. Um, so here I have 532 and it displays the time that the peak starts and stops in the duration here and then and then the max there the so the total time the signal is on and the total time it's off so it's on for about 4.6 percent of the time which which is not very much so if I were just trying to find that and, and also notice this peak so before we started and we had 10 seconds there was nothing in here and, and actually there it did turn on one ten this four hour period it turned on one time and and maybe that's the one I want to look at. So I I can select uh, in this list, and as I do so, uh, this there's a vertical line that appears here, and that's that's where I have selected, and so that moves. Um, and I and I know that I want to come out here to about. So I have a little cursor here, and I on this peak. Let's look at that one. It's at about eleven or five five twelve in time. So we can. And uh, see, it's going to be in here. It's two. It's the one that's kind of in the middle. So it, at two hours and then five. So that's that one. Um, so that's saying now. So once, um, once I've found time resolution that's good, I can hit load for playback. And it loads the file normally, except but not at not at, at full resolution, but at the resolution I've chosen. Now all the data is still there. It doesn't throw away any data. It's not gonna it's not gonna neglect that data. It just didn't look at higher resolution than that in order to do sort of the initial uh, processing of the data. So now I can go into my um, say my playback, and I can and I can play it back. I can do all of these analysis modes. It didn't take me three hours to load. It only took me. You know, a few minutes to, to kind of look at that and process it. Um, when I load it, it it one of the things it's going to do is it's going to take all of these peak positions and add them to my points of interest table um, in in my view mode. And this this takes a while to, to open still, but 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 fairly quickly for a 70 gigabyte file. So now when I come here, I can import that table. And now I have points of interest for all of the points for that peak turned on. And so if we go back here, and, and this one we selected was number 307 uh, in this list. So here, if I wanted to just look at that, I would come down till I find uh, 307. And I can double click that, and there's that, that one peak that turned on in, in the middle of, of that four hour dead time. And I can, and I can look at that. now. The, the resolution still was only uh, to what we were at, uh, 500 milliseconds, so I may not have found the beginning. So I, I'm going to just jump back here, um, maybe twice. I kind of want to see when it turns on. 
So, all right, because the res resolution was still probably insufficient to find the, the the point of interest wasn't right at the time. But I can quickly find that and see. Oh, that's what it looks like when it turns on. I might want that at higher um, resolution. Um, and and remember, I can I can um, if I left click or if I shift click, and I can just go right here and just do shift click. It replays that again. Now I'm looking at really higher time resolution because I'm thinking, well, maybe that does something interesting. And there is a little bit of a, a wobble in that signal when it turns on. Um, so I, I don't know what this signal is. It was just one that I thought was interesting. Uh, I knew it, it turned on and off. So, so here's a way, a means for me to very quickly load a really large data set that I know has some interesting features going on but they're not going on very often. So in this case, in a four hour period, it turned on one time. So I do a four hour capture and I can see that signal and I want to play it back. And so rather than taking days of just playing back, right, I want to get to it very quickly. So I, I go in and, and, and it automatically finds these points of interest. I can import that here. I can play it back and, and analyze that, uh, look at it all I want. So a very powerful way of dealing with, with very large data sets. That, uh, that simply allow us to, to look at, at an interesting time resolution and, and pull out stuff quickly. So that is how we are handling very large files. And I appreciate your attention. Thank you.